All right, so to begin this project, um, we need to open our two images. One the image of yourself that you're going to use to superimpose onto your painting and the other image of your painting. So you're gonna to go to File, Open. Go ahead and open your painting and your image. So you should have two tabs when we're done, one of your painting and one of your image. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And you wanna make sure both of these are open, okay? So that way you can toggle back and forth between the tabs. The first thing you're gonna do is start by cutting out your face in your image. Um, so I've got this picture here of myself and you wanna use your pen tool to trace around your face. You want to get as close as you can. Remember when you're using your pen tool you want to click, hold, and drag your handlebars out and always finish where you began. So you want to always end where you began. And if you need to tweak your line use the white arrow tool, the direct selection tool, to go back in and move your points around and play with your handlebars a little bit if you need to. Okay, so once you've done that, <clears throat> open up your paths palette. So open up paths and you should see the work path here at the top. Once you have selected that layer to work on, go ahead and click the load selection button down at the bottom of your paths palette, which should give you the dancing ants around your face. Now, if I hit backspace, it's going to chop out my face altogether. Um, so we want to do, instead of getting rid of the face, we want to keep it. So we want to get rid of everything else. So do select inverse. That will select everything else. And then make sure you unlock your background layer. So by double clicking that background layer and click OK. Now just go ahead and hit the backspace or delete button. Once you've done that, go ahead and do Control D to deselect your dancing ants. You don't have to be too precise with the cutout um, because you'll be using layer mask options later on to get a little closer around the edges. Like if you see, I've got some of my hair still around here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Now what you need to do is do a file save. So we're going to save this document and I'm just going to save mine to my desktop. You can save yours to your Ren Makeover folder or anything, um, your documents folder, your thumb drive, wherever you want to save it. Now what we need to do is copy your face. So we're going to do Control A, which is select all, and then Control C, which is copy. Toggle back to your painting photo and then paste that picture of your face right into that file. So do control V to paste your face in there. Um, once you do that, select your move tool and you can move your face around. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead and do a file save on your uh, painting file just to save your work. And then go ahead and close this up and move on to tutorial number two.